Hi everybody, it's Sandy. I'm gonna do another painting today. Today's gonna be a ring pour with the comb going through it. I have the 12 by 12 canvas prepped, ready to go. I've got white acrylic on the base of it right now. Just gonna torch the bubbles out as I always do. And I also have to show you the painting dry from the beach scene that I did which I missed a step when I did it and forgot to show you the swiping with the plastic that I had mentioned at the beginning of the video. So I'll show you the final painting dry. Try to make sure my torch is off. So this is what the painting looks like now that I actually did the swiping. And what I did was I took a piece of plastic and dragged it along that blue lumpy area that was there kind of looked like mountains but it's not what i was going for so when i put the plastic just slid it slowly across there it brought out the sunset so i have a little bit of beach still down here and then the water and my sunset turned out very nice so there we go that's what that painting was supposed to look like and I forgot to show you. I apologize for not showing you. I'll do another swipe painting though and I'll actually do the swiping and show you what I do. So, but tonight we're going to do the ring pour. And I'm going to do some metallic deep sapphire. I'm just going to pour a whole bunch of paint in this cup. And then we're going to swirl it around, make circles. And then pour it off the canvas basically and get the design we want. They make really nice abstract paintings. And I'm gonna do a light blue in there, which the sapphire is a little bit thicker, so the light blue kind of dropped to the bottom, but that's okay. It will still work for the ring pour. We're gonna do brilliant violet. And hopefully my microphone's working. The last video seemed to work really well, which I'm very happy with. Glad everybody can hear me and not all the mumbling they got before. Then I'm going to add some navy in there. And I want some silver in there as well, so let's add some silver. For my last color, let's go with some amethyst, metallic amethyst. It's a little bit heavier as well, so it might sink to the bottom. We'll see what it does. Oh, it's looking pretty good. So we got a full cup of paint poured. See all the colors in there? Oops, sorry. And I'm just gonna start pouring it slowly in the middle of this canvas and go in circular motions get all those awesome lines showing you can go small you can go bigger just makes a beautiful abstract when this is done There we go, we got lots of paint on there. And I think I wanna just add a little bit of white to the middle, just cause there's so much of the dark blue there. I'm just gonna go in a little bit of a circle, add some white. There we go. Then I'm gonna take my comb I'm just gonna drag it through my white, all the way through the coloring. Doesn't matter if you drag paint over, you're gonna be moving the paint anyways. And then go through the top section. All right, I'm gonna pick up my canvas and start moving this paint around. But 
Boy, that white in the center looks kind of cool. I wonder how that's going to turn out. And the gray. Hopefully you're getting a good view of it. And again, this is another quick painting. This will probably be like a 10, 15 minute video at the most. And it just makes for some very cool designs. Love doing the ring pours, they're really cool. And I wanna get some more of that pink going down. Where all that blue is, let's see if we can get it moving. This corner needs a little bit of help too. I'm just going to help it a little bit. Did I get all my corners? Oh, this one's dip it in the paint a little bit. Get some on the corner. A little bit here too. Make sure I got the corners. I'm going to go back this way a little bit. Sorry, you got the back of the canvas again. It's almost there. Slowly moving to where I want it. There we go. That white looks really cool. So now I'm going to steal a little bit of the color off of the table that I have here just to get it in a couple of spots that looks like may have been missing a bit of color. Just dab it with your fingers a little bit. And we have tonight's masterpiece, which looks really neat. I'm going to torch it too. Let's see if we have any cells happening. I'm going to take my glove off. There we go. Definitely have some cells happening. I'll show you in one second this corner. Oh, I love that blue. on me but that's okay. I'm going to turn it this way so you can see all those cells happening. The colors kind of start popping out and they get defined with the dark blue around it. Very neat. There you go. That's our masterpiece for tonight. Thanks very much for joining me. Everyone enjoy your evening. <laughs>